And, you know, as I look out here and I think about last Friday, uh, we rode on a, uh, on a bus with some of you, uh, with uh, Dwight Takamine and his team, and we started in Hilo, went to Laupohoihoi, and then went to Honoka, and then went to Pahoa, and then went to Hilo, and ended uh, in Hilo town in the evening. And what struck me was what a team the Democratic Party is. And what strikes me tonight is that this really is a historic election. There is no time in Hawaii's history where we will have a better team for the state of Hawaii in Barack Obama and in Senator Daniel K. Inouye and in our Democratic team up and down the ticket. And our obligation tomorrow is to get out the vote and make sure that that team stays together. And one of the most critical pieces of that team is making sure that we have a united congressional delegation, united in heart, united in vote, united in purpose, and united in supporting Hawaii Island's priorities, the state of Hawaii's priority, and Barack Obama's priorities. Ladies and gentlemen, the next senator from the state of Hawaii, Maisie Hirono. Thank you. Um, I think I should stand in front. You're right. <laughs> Chelsea, we have something else in common. Thank you so much, Brian. I want to thank all of you who are here tonight. Some of you were sign holding out there and you were drenched, but your commitment was clear. And you are all here tonight in person. I want to thank all of you who are listening on the radio. Some of you are watching this by live stream on your computers. And believe me, there have been hundreds and hundreds of volunteers throughout the state who have been phone banking, who have been going door to door for all of us. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. We all know what's at stake in this election. We need to make sure that President Obama gets four more years. We need to make sure that Senator Danny Noe keeps the chairmanship of the most important, powerful committee in the United States Senate, the Appropriations Committee. And we need to make sure that the United States Senate stays in democratic hands. Now, that is not the Republicans' agenda. And we've said this many times, but it is a fact. They only need four votes in order to totally take over the United States Senate, and they're still counting on Linda Lingle to be one of those four votes to help them take over the United States Senate, where they will, of course, repeal Obamacare, they will repeal Wall Street reform. They will give even more tax breaks to millionaires and billionaires while the middle class families will see their taxes go up. Those are not our priorities. Those are not our values. Every vote counts. This is why every vote counts. And because every vote counts, tomorrow we are going to be canvassing, we're going to be phone banking, we need you to do that. This last drop of commitment must come from all of you. And I want you to all rush Blaze, Delima Blaze, stand up, because she is going to be taking your names <laughs> for canvassing and door knocking because every vote counts. We need a United States Senator who is going to work with Barack Obama and with Senator Inouye and our entire United Democratic delegation from Hawaii. That will include Senator Inouye, soon to be reelected Colleen Hanabusa, soon to be elected Tulsi Gabbard, three women. That's historic. We need a senator 
who truly understands what matters to you and your families. A senator who will lead with her head and her heart. And you know, my priorities and my heart will always be with you and with your support, with your support. My voice in the United States Senate will be your voice. And thank you. <laughs> I want to end by extending a huge aloha to my oldest supporter who happens to live on this island. And that is Grandma Tashima of Tashima's Restaurant in Kona. <laughs> Grandma Tashima is 105 years young. And she voted by absentee ballot for me and all of the Democrats because she told me she has been voting Democratic since, well, before a lot of us were even born. <laughs> so with Grandma Tashima is our inspiration. Let's go. Okay, let's hear it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go all out for the Democratic ticket. Let's go for President Obama. Let's go for all of us because we are in this together. Mahalo noi loa. Aloha. So this young lady will be the first Samoan woman elected to office in the United States Congress. Tosi, aloha no. Good luck. Thank you. Aloha, everyone. What a beautiful, beautiful night to be here with all of you on such a momentous occasion. It is beautiful tonight not only because of the many showers and blessings that we've had all afternoon. It is most beautiful because of all of you. And I, I am so grateful to be here tonight because what we have happening here is truly the heart of our democratic process and our democracy. It takes two. It takes great servant leaders, like you've heard from all evening tonight, who you have been uh, stumping for on every street corner, on every street, knocking on doors, making phone calls. It takes the candidates, and it takes each and every one of you. It is your hard work, your passion, and your commitment in supporting these fine candidates that makes this democratic process work. As Dante mentioned, I, I had the opportunity to serve uh, in Iraq. I was serving in a medical unit in 2005 when they had their first democratically held elections since the overthrow of Saddam Hussein. I was blown away how men and women came out in droves to cast their vote risking their lives, understanding that there were roadside bombs, there were snipers, there was a risk of ambush, they could get killed or lose a limb, but it was that important to them to go out and cast their vote, to let their voice be heard about what kind of future they wanted for their country. I was shocked when the day was done, and it was an eye-opening experience for me to see that their numbers and turnout were over double than I had ever seen in my lifetime here in Hawaii. That experience inspires me, and I hope it inspires each of you as we head into tomorrow where there is so much at stake. The choice that each of us has, the choice that we've been presenting to people everywhere has been made by the many fine speakers who came before me. So I just want to share with you the power that each and every one of you have. We've heard and we've all felt the frustrations of the imbalance of power that exists, how those with money are trying to influence this election and take the power away from the voices of people. But what it comes right down to it, there is one thing that money can't buy and that is the hearts and minds of people. So the power that each and every one of you carries, every single one of you, every single one of you will make the difference tomorrow. 
It will make the difference tomorrow when you go out, you see Blaze DeLima here, and you say, Blaze, how can I help get out the vote tomorrow? How can I make a difference? When we share our passion, when we share our commitment, when we share our support for great servant leaders who we know will fight, who will be our voice, who will serve the people and not be compromised, that is the way we make a difference. That is the way we will change the future. That's the way we will change tomorrow. And it's going to take each and every one of us doing our part, making that difference. Tomorrow is it, guys. Let's make this happen. Mahalo nui loa. Aloha. Drum, just a little touch from you, but I love you so much. You'll be my superman, or feel no pain. Higher than the clouds, let's mix it up on my side. Hey, me, I got on pop a pump like a beating of a drum. Just a little touch from you, boy, I love you so much. You'll be my superman, or feel no pain. Higher than the clouds, up on my boat, plan away. You, you take me higher than the clouds. Oh, oh yeah, your touch makes me want. I wanna scream, I wanna scream out loud. You take me higher than the clouds. I don't wanna rush, baby. When we touch, wanna let you take me oh, take me over. Yeah, yeah, higher than the clouds. Ooh, yeah, Scooby Doo, be Doo, boom, boom. Just don't let me look at them. With the sunset, and I'll be in your life. Ooh, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pull up, pull up. Can we please give it up for the band, the Mighty Cryptones, Kilo's finest, for real? These guys are awesome. That was supposed to be my last song, but I think we have time to squeeze in a Hana Ho. Can we do one Hana Ho? Is that cool? Okay. Only if I can play my favorite song to sing, which is for the Keikis. She said it was her favorite song. This one is written about a musician. So, Justin Bieber, this one's for you. This one's called Simple Love Song. Thank you guys again for listening. Thank you for having me tonight. Go out and vote tomorrow. The final step is going to be a big one tomorrow. Let's do this. I got my absentee. Everything's going good. If you'd like to make up a hula to the to the song, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> See the way he walks into the room and let his speech So sweet, every word from his lips is like honey I know he loves me Hey, hear the way he sings and the way he strums his instrument The way he jams and the way he treats his family He's funny I know he loves me Though our life's been super complicated, let's play the song when you need a little lift. Let's sing. I'm finally, I'm writing you this simple love song. It's a high one, yeah? Get enough, baby, no, the times are rough. And boy, you know I trip a bit because you're not around, but it's okay, babe. You got to get it, babe. Huh. I'm gonna hold it down for you. I'm gonna scream it loud for you. Focus on myself for you. You know that I would die for you, baby. I know it's crazy.
Let's rally. Ah. 